Hello everyone, this is Johnny from uh, Natural Polish and Concrete. Today we're gonna start a new project. Uh, let me show you guys around. This is our beautiful floor. A lot of white filler from the drywall, but that's normal, that will come out easy. Uh, the glue is not heavy, only in this room is uh, kind of heavy. Everything else is pretty standard. Um, we're gonna put our 30 grit metal bond on the floor grinder and also we're gonna start doing the edges all the way around with the same grid 30 grit we begin opening the floor we spread a little bit of water just to help us remove the glue um, if it, the glue would be more heavy I would use a PCD but sometimes uh, if you don't have a PCD you can always use a little more heavy water and sand that is going to help you remove uh, the glue as well The floor has been open, there's some lower areas that we had to get, like those black marks, but once we run our next step, uh, those are going to come off. So we got to concentrate on patching all these uh, holes here, and you guys can see here, uh, there's a white filler, so we got to chip all those out so we can put our material. Um, otherwise, we don't chip all that out or take that filler out and you leave it there. One, is gonna look bad. Second, eventually that filler will come out with the water. So they used to have a wall here before. That's why you see all those uh, holes in there and they used to have another wall here. All the way here. And you know, the one right there. Just finished taking all the white filler from the holes and clean all the cracks. So I begin vacuum the entire floor for our next step will be uh, the patching. There's a lot of holes in this concrete slab, especially where the drywall was, but that's normal. Some jobs you get more than others. Um, in some areas I have to do a scheme code, you guys can see there because there were a little tiny holes. So I was just trying to make sure I get every single one of them. Taking out the 30s, I'm ready to put the 70 grid. That's the next step. I'm going to be running the tire floor. Right after that, I'm going to start with the 7 inch grinder. Mm -hmm. 
this is my 100 ceramic I'm gonna concentrate on all my edges uh, at this point I already run the ceramic grid metal on the entire floor I'm running the 100 ceramic I'm um, still got some patches here and there on the floor uh, but the 100 will remove it those ceramics are very good to remove uh, scratches and also some patch if you have a lot of patch then you don't want to use a 100 you might want to go lower at 50 grit We're applying our sealer right now. Uh, the last step that we run here on this floor was the 100 ceramic. Our customer didn't want like a high gloss. They wanted to keep it more on the low sheen. Yeah, it's good in there. And we can walk on this? And yeah, as soon as we're done, no, as soon as we're done, you can walk. Okay. Yeah, as soon as we're done, you can, you can walk. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's all That's our final floor right after we buff. Remember, we took this floor up to the 100 grid. I mentioned it before, you can see the imperfection on the concrete, you can see the cracks. Our material never gonna match 100%. We try to match as close as possible, but if you don't like to see any perfections on your floor, you might wanna consider like doing a cell leveling, epoxy, or a micro topping. That will hide any imperfection on your concrete. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I upload a video. So that's it for this one and see you guys in the next project.